hello. Whoa. Hello. This is like the same place I just ended the last vlog. But welcome to Katie Does Travel. My name is Katie. I am a solo female backpacker. Hmm. I'm a solo female backpacker in her 30s here to show that travel can be fun and meaningful no matter your age so if that sounds like something you would enjoy give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel I try to post once a week when I am not traveling you can also follow my travels in real time on my social media channels which will be here on the screen but as I mentioned in the last video if you watched that I am currently here at the airport I I am at the Alice Springs Airport uh, and I am actually headed to Adelaide today. So my goal between these two Australia trips, because if you don't know, I was here last year, is to visit every Australia state. So Australia has six states and two territories. So I, after I land in Adelaide, I will officially have gone to every Australian state between the two trips. I still have to go to the Australian Capital Territory, which I am planning on doing, hopefully, um, to hit every single territory, because I obviously I'm in the Northern Territory right now, being in Alice, so. Anyway, I'm just gonna chill here at the airport. My flight's a little bit delayed by about 25 minutes, so. I uh, will get into Adelaide hopefully just before noon, but I don't really know what I'm doing today because I have to go pick up something and run a few errands, so I might not really do much today. It's also a public holiday. It's the king's birthday, apparently, but anyway. I'm not sure how much I'll get up into today, but I have, so today's Monday, so I have through Friday, I leave on Saturday to go to my next place. So um, I do have a full solid week there. Uh, excited to explore Adelaide, have a little bit of a laid back feel before I go to the east coast to finish my trip, which will be a whirlwind. So anyway, welcome. Let's, well, I guess the next video here will be me on the plane, but <laughs> I'm going to sit here for a bit, but let's go to Adelaide and let's explore a new place in a new Australian state. After I had landed and dropped off my luggage over at my hostel, I headed over to the Migration Museum. Technically, it is a free museum, but you should donate just a few dollars just because I think it's a nice thing to do. The museum is not that large. It takes about maybe 30, 45 minutes, but it has various relics and just history pieces about migration to Australia, specifically within Southern or South Australia. So definitely recommend heading over there and checking it out. I really enjoyed it. Hello. So today is kind of my first full day here in Adelaide. I did end up doing something yesterday. I went to the Migration Museum because everything was kind of closed because it was a public holiday. It was the King's birthday. Yeah. So um, I have some errands to run this later this afternoon um, before 5.30 because I have to go pick up my new running shoes. But anyway, so today I am here in the Adelaide Botanic Gardens walking around. It's very autumnal, uh, even though it's technically winter, but all the leaves are changing. So that's exciting for someone who lives somewhere that doesn't get a true autumn to see the leaves. So. Anyway, um, I am just walking around the botanic garden here and then I think I might go to check out the Royal Gallery. I think that's what it's called. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll put it below. But uh, I'm just really focusing on things that are free or low cost uh, just because I'm trying to save my money for the East Coast. But uh, yeah, I can still do fun things here in cities that don't cost a lot. I don't think you have to spend a lot to have a good time. So. Anyway, uh, that is what I am doing now. I will take you along and I might be back here um, Thursday or so to do one of the free walking tours. So we will see. But anyway, let's have a good afternoon here in Adelaide and I will take you along with me. So on this day, I went over to the Botanic Gardens and just really walked around. I did go back later in the week to go on a guided tour but on this day because the weather was nicer in the morning i wanted to walk around and really get the lay of the land the 
Botanic Garden was established in 1857 and it features some of Australia's best and finest plant collections. There are various places inside you can go to like a butterfly pavilion or conservatory, but it is a really nice free thing to do in Adelaide. First rain I've seen in like a month and a half. So that's fun. The garden is open every single day of the year. And like I said, entry is free and you can do one of the guided tours, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But if you want something a little bit more in depth, I definitely recommend taking a guided tour. Then I went over to the Art Gallery of South Australia. So it was established in 1881 and it is the most significant visual arts museum in South Australia with over 45,000 works of art, making it the second largest state art gallery in Australia. There are various paintings and other artistic pieces within the museum. And I definitely recommend any art lover to go and check it out. Personally, I'm not a big art museum person, but I really did enjoy this museum. I stayed for about uh, maybe an hour and a half, two hours, but some of the pieces really spoke to me and I really enjoyed it. Then the next day I went over to the Adelaide Central Market and it's kind of like your standard market with various shops and eateries and it just things to explore within the Adelaide area. I definitely recommend popping over and checking it out if you have some time, but if you don't, I don't think you're completely missing out by not going, but I had fun. I picked up a Harry Potter book used and some chicken salt for my family to enjoy back at home. Then I headed over to this Japanese garden, which was very, very beautiful and just kind of in the middle of the city center. Hello, so it is Wednesday and I'm here still in Adelaide. Um, I think I'm gonna have to face the sun. Maybe that works. Uh, so today I've kind of had, it seems like I had a later start, but I've actually been up Oops, I dropped my book. <laughs> I've been up for since, I don't know, like 8.30. I'm allowing myself to try to sleep in a little bit more so here. But uh, yeah, I went for a run and I did laundry, so I didn't really get out and about until around 1-ish. Um, but that's okay. I didn't have a ton planned for today. And honestly, I don't have a ton planned for Adelaide in general, <laughs> but I almost dropped my book again. But um, yeah, I don't know, I've just been kind of thinking about sometimes it's good when you travel to have those cities where you don't really feel like you have to do a ton, like you feel that you can catch your breath a bit because I mean, I haven't found any scientific studies about this, I haven't looked, but I'm sure they're out there. And if not, maybe I can try to get a study started, not really, but I feel like when you travel so much, especially like how I do and a lot of other digital nomads, you're constantly in new places, so you just kind of in this state of always being overwhelmed or always seeing newness. And sometimes you just need to go to a place A, that you've been to before, or B, that's just calmer, and you don't really feel like you have a ton, you don't have to do a ton. Uh, just to kind of recenter yourself, like just go do normal things, go run errands, go work on your computer, watch Netflix, whatever. And that's kind of how I'm treating this week here in Adelaide. Uh, just do a couple of fun things, but then, you know, really just focus on getting work done and just kind of chilling because I'm about to go to the East Coast and that's going to kind of be go, go, go until the end of the trip. So. Yeah, I'm just kind of taking this time now just to savor this. But anyway, I do have to go somewhere. But so far today, I went to the Central Market. I'm not sure if I'm going to put the clips before or after this um, little 
ramble but uh, I went to the Central Market and it was really cool I mean I would say actually out of a lot of the markets I've been to it's probably one of the better ones but I did grab I keep dropping shit uh, I did grab the third Harry Potter book the Australian print version of it uh, it was only 10 Australian dollars because uh, it was used but it's actually in really good shape and I collect if you don't know I collect Harry Potter books uh, the third one specifically because the Prisoner of Azkaban is my favorite uh, and I prefer to buy them used if I can um, versus buying them brand new for multiple reasons so uh, I was glad to find this and then I also picked up it's in my bag but I picked up some Australian chicken salt which uh, it's you, you can put it on chicken but you can also put it on other things like hot fries or chips or whatever and other stuff so I brought I got that a jar of that uh, to bring home so my parents can try so and me because I live with my parents when I'm not traveling but anyway and then uh, I just kind of been walking around I went to a Japanese garden just to see what it is like and then now and I have to go because I'm on a time crunch I'm going to a free chocolate tour it's only a half hour it's like uh, I'm not expecting much but I was like you know what? it's free and it gets me out and about and it's actually like the one nice day I'm gonna have here so uh, yeah so anyway I gotta go to that because that's at 3 30 and it's after 3 now and I gotta walk there but anyway hope you enjoyed my little ramble if you agree with me let me know uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts and yep yeah, gonna go check out the chocolate now this was definitely a good find this chocolate factory tour was so good and i had never seen it recommended i just happened to find it on just like googling stuff but you can learn a little bit more about this chocolate factory why it's so important in adelaide and let me tell you they are very heavy-handed with their samples so if you love chocolate definitely check it out and go over there for their free tour then the next day I went back to the Botanic Garden to do the 1030 guided tour. So they have this tour almost every single day of the year. And a volunteer from the gardens will take you around. I wanna say it was about an hour to an hour and a half tour, but it was really, really interesting. And it gave a little bit more perspective compared to me just independently wandering around on the first time I went. So definitely recommend it if you have some time. botanic gardens if you can tell i just got done with a free walking tour it was 90 minutes long and it was really good uh one of the volunteers here took us through different parts of the garden and explained things and yeah it was lovely and it was free and i definitely recommend it um i might do it when i go to some other botanic gardens uh, in other cities along the east coast because if there's one thing here in Australia is that they love their botanic gardens So anyway, that's kind of how I spent my morning I'm just resting a little bit because my back hurts and then I think I'm gonna head to the National Wine Center Just to see what it's about and then there's a museum I might go to um, And then that's pretty much it for today and honestly my ex exploration in Adelaide because tomorrow I'm just gonna have a work day so yeah, so that's what I've been up to and definitely just trying to find as many free or low cost things as I possibly can uh, just to keep some costs down so I can spend more money or, you know, just do experiences and tours along the East Coast. So anyway, that is what I've been up to for today and let's go try some wine and learn about wine here in Southern or South Australia. Now, if you are a wine lover like myself and you are actually in the Botanic Gardens, you need to head over to the National Wine Center of Australia. So it's over, basically you can enjoy the gardens and then it, you can walk to the wine center. So it's kind of like a convention center, but this is kind of tucked away inside and you can try different wines from all across Australia now you do have to pay for the samples and i will admit they're not the largest of the sample the sample sizes are very very small but it is a fun thing to do and to check out and for some reason they didn't 
charge me like the card malfunction it didn't charge me the full amount so whatever i wasn't going to say anything because it was still pretty expensive for what it was but i definitely recommend it then i headed over to mod which is actually a really cool museum so they have a rotating exhibits but at the time and currently now that i'm recording this the museum has an exposition called broken so essentially it kind of talks about how if we don't make changes nothing will ever change and it's talking about various crises such as housing and education collaboration and politics and how basically exploration of how the world could be different if we imagine it in different ways and how broken systems don't produce change so it was really really interesting this is actually probably one of my favorite things i did in adelaide and i really didn't know much about it but definitely recommend heading over there but that was my time in adelaide thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed it also be sure to follow my social media channels to follow my travels in real time and as always remember to wander far and wander often hello from cairns Queensland, Australia.